Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing how to paint <clears throat> your spoiler. So I recently got the spoiler. Um, first thing, of course, you're going to need is some spray paint. I'm just doing straight black. Uh, go to AutoZone, get some Dupa color. I've actually had pretty good results with this. And yeah, so I mean, first of all, of course, you're going to want to be outside or at least in a well ventilated area. A garage with you know, if you open the doors, that'd be fine. I'm just doing it out back. Uh, you want to do it at a good temperature, too. You don't want it to be too cold, too warm. <clears throat> it, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of snow around, but it's also, like, 50 degrees right now, so it should be fine. And, yeah. I mean, spray painting is pretty easy. You just do layers, of course. And you need to shake your can for a little bit. It says, I think, a minute of vigorous shaking. And then you just want to do nice, even, back and forth, wavy layers. But, yeah, so I'll get back to you when I'm doing that. Alright, so with this kind of paint, they have that little nozzle. Uh, that just shows, like, the direction that you're going to be spraying. This is up and down, so it's going to be a wide, long spray. You can rotate it any direction, really. So... First, with your can, of course, you're just going to want to make sure it's spraying, so... There we go. And now, once you've got that, whoop, little black flag, you can actually start spraying on your spoiler. Uh, I'm just going to start across the top and go across. Alright, so here's my first coat. Uh, it's very light. It didn't get everywhere. Of course, that's going to be kind of hard to get into, and I'll still have to do these sides and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, the first coat is, of course, supposed to be a pretty light coat. I got a few little black splotches all across here, which kind of sucks, but it'll be covered up. And yeah, so I mean, of course, the technique is you're just going to want to be spraying side by side. I can probably show you over here what I'm doing. So here's this side. You're going to want to hold the can probably about eight inches to a foot away. And then just... You know, it doesn't need to be too dark. Of course, you're going to be doing multiple layers. So, yeah, and in between each layer that you do on top, there's supposed to be a few minutes of time, so... It's going to take a little bit, of course. You don't want to all do it in one swoop. There we go. So now I'll let this dry a bit, and I will come back and do a few more layers. Alright, here's the second coat. Uh, it's definitely getting more of a black. I somehow need to figure out how to get up in here more. That's proven to be a bit challenging. Um, I have walked around the back here too, and I have started getting the back, which I forgot to do for the first coat. You can't really see, but under there definitely needs to be painted, but like right up here, it's actually actually coming along pretty well. Um, the very bottom of the spoiler, I will do later. I'm going to need to let this whole top part dry first before I can even flip it and do that, so. Won't have time today, but I'll do it. Alright, so my first and second coat were pretty light, so. I decided to start doing heavier coats, so I did a fairly heavy third coat. Um, on this camera, I can actually see it's looking pretty straight black. It's not, there's still a few spots, as you can see right in here, right along here, and up here. I mean, it's still, you know, it's a little bit uneven on certain spots, but I'm getting it, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe another coat or two, four or five coats, and I should be... Alright guys, here's the final product. Uh, I can't see it too well. Kinda can. Um... I did put clear coat on it, that's kind of what this dusty layer looks like, or is I should say. So I need to let that dry and then I'll be able to buff it and make it pretty. Here's the old spoiler. Take note, there's a clip here and here, and I'll actually show you how you take that one off. So as you can see my trunk is lit up. I have this here because my struts actually don't hold up my trunk very well, so, yeah. Either way, there's going to be a bolt hole here 
and here on each side over here too and that is where your spoiler sits uh, mine as you can see had a lot of dirt and crap under it when I pulled it off but um so yeah you're gonna take these two bolts out it'll still stay in place you don't need to worry about it because there's gonna be the clips which you can see there's a little hole here and there's one over there and those clips are really easy you just lift up on the spoiler and they'll pop right out but yeah so that's how you take it off and you try to unbolt it keep the bolts I did you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to get those off they're not very long but yeah so just keep them ready uh, the new black spoiler over here has actually has um, bolt holes in it too if we can see hey you can see them there's one right here and one right here uh, at first when I looked at them I was kind of worried that they wouldn't you know work right because I thought it was just going in the body turns out they are encased in metal I already checked there's one and then this one I need to wait for it to dry so I can actually pop out there's like a little plug or something on it so I need to do that or drill it out but yeah so spoiler over here you can see it's got metal that those bolts go right into so it's nice and the one over here, it actually does have metal on the inside too, which is good. It's not focusing. There you go. But, yeah, so I mean, that's how you'll replace your spoiler. The old one's really easy to take off. Car looks kind of goofy without it. And then, once this one dries, it's got about an hour and a half to go. Then I'll place it on, and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so by the way, if you can, there's this little rubber pad right here both sides um it's just like a little you know buffer pad between the spoiler and the actual trunk so it's not sitting on there rubbing around and scratching off paint so if you can peel this up really gently which you can it's still got the adhesive it'll still be sticky uh peel it up gently actually stick it over the holes on the bottom of your new spoiler so that you don't end up doing damage to the actual back of your car. And by the way, in this entire process, don't forget to clean both the pads and the back of your now goofy looking car, because I mean, look at this. An eclipse should not look like this. There should be something big on the back. But yeah, don't forget to clean up the holes. There's a little mud on that one so I can clean it up. And then over here too, this is actually not, um, I mean there is paint, it's not scratched off, I don't even know what this is, it's like an adhesive or something, but either way it got stuck, so, new spoiler or cover it up, it'll be fine, but yeah, just a little side note before you just throw away your old one or do whatever you want with it, and that is all. Alright, and here's the final product on the car, of the spoiler. Um, it's a little dirty as you can see. I've actually been driving it around for a few weeks now, I just forgot to make a video on it. So, I mean, as you can see there's a lot of mud, it kind of collects in the top part. And then just inside. But, either way, I mean, it doesn't look bad on the car. It sticks up a little bit. Right there. Um, that's probably about an inch gap on both sides. But, I mean, when you're driving, it's not too noticeable. But, yeah, I mean, either way, I think the car looks nice with it on. Honestly. It looks pretty good hanging out back there. <laughs> But yeah, that's the final product of the spoiler. Subscribe if you liked, and stay tuned for more videos.